He even called himself King Jared in his speech. Mm. Can you name one thing Jared has done to deserve to win that game? Uh, well, there's that time that he got really angry about Kelsey grabbing <laughs> ass. Spin the bottle as well. Yeah, that that's that's, <laughs> that's one. Mm. Didn't he win something early on? Oh, I don't remember him. He's think, never been H O H. I think he has won something at maybe, some point. Maybe he did sit in the. Uh, the bowl with the eels. <laughs> he didn't cut his ringlets, so no. he's got principles. Um, and those vests. Oh, the vest. Oh, yeah. and he offered to pray with Ramsey about his dad. So. Oh, and he diagnosed uh, Ramsey's dad's heart attack. Brilliant. Okay, enough said. We we'll take it all back. It's quite a, quite a body of work. <laughs> It's a pity he can't present it to the jury at the end. It's a flabby old body, but you know what? When he got in that jar of eels, what do you think? <laughs> worth a squirt. When he took his clothes off and he's just had his boxer shorts on I thought hold on you know have a look at least when Tim was wearing those little green pants he had nothing to speak of like seriously like so what are you saying sling him out or sling one at the back of him <laughs> I mean he might be a show and not a grower but Tim come on I think but hang on he's all Tim, mouth no last last <laughs> week on Big Brother Bile do you remember Last Tim, previously on Big Brother Bar, when Tim was balancing on the hoverboard for that task, <laughs> his balls looked big. Suddenly, oh, yeah. now he's in speedos; they shrunk. So Maybe it was really cold that day. Balls to the wall. I don't know. Maybe he's left them there. Um. So, oh yeah, this is all this extended flim flam section that you bought into that Joel was actually gonna vote to keep Jared oh, and no. Nikki. come on as if Joel's gonna evict Nikki like get get real oh no but they play with your mind every week no, I know but come on you gotta see through that shit and Nikki said I fucking hate Jared and Kelsey and Tim said they are rotten to the core that's a fair statement that is true and then Kelsey said to Jared go talk to Joel <laughs> what's Kelsey gonna who's Kelsey gonna order around now Jared's a, the brothers she's, <gasps> al- she's already done it we saw her do it just now she's gonna be grabbing ass to her heart's content what a complete <laughs> uh, tramp James sorry it's then um, oh you think Jared uh, is a good pool player I noticed he didn't have anyone to play pool with. Well, that's because Rao's not there. <laughs> I think Dallas used to play as well. Yeah, he did, yeah. So all the, see, we've seen Nicky play before, though. Uh, the brothers play as well, mm. so... He said Jared... I saw him sitting on the side of the table, like... He was all, you know... What, he was giving it all the... You know when you, like, sit on the table and, like... What, it, for a shot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, at least he can win it. One game. Mm. I still don't get why the brothers wanted Jared to stay. Like, why they voted for him to stay. It makes no sense. They hate him and he hates them. Yeah, but they just have an understanding, I think. It's like an agreement that they have. Mm. So Cassandra came out to talk to Jared when he was playing pool. And he went, that's pathetic. You can leave to her. He still hasn't worked out how to talk to the HOH. Do you know what? This whole week, Mm. I've seen a lot of very bad gameplay from a lot of people. Mm. Him, he stands out in particular. He's a stubborn little twat. I don't know who he, said, who he said this to, Jared, but he said, this is Nikki's fifth reality show. Right. So that's three CBBs and one Princess Nikki, right? This is the fifth. All right. I... And she has a fashion line. We don't know about that, but mm. apparently it's a thing. She doesn't need the money. It's a fair point. But then... Plus the magazine deals. Yeah, but so if you kept her, then you'd be guaranteed. If you took her to the end. Well, because no one would vote for her. Yeah, because she's got a fashion line. She's rich. She's rolling in it, isn't she? She's like the UK's Beyonce. (laughs) She's got magazine deals. She's got a lot going on. Exactly. So then uh, Kelsey and Cassandra fell out. Kelsey's like, you're full of shit. And then she's like, you're a little bit full of shit. Can you be a little bit? Full of, you're either full of shit, right? Or you're not. You can't. How can you be a little bit full of? That doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, well, you wouldn't be full of it. You'd just be like a bit of. Sh- you've got a bit of shit in you. How much <laughs> is the question? How much? How do you define it if you're like halfway full of shit? It's impossible. <laughs> you're right. You're either full of shit or you're not. <laughs> 
So Mitch could probably work this one out for us. Oh, right. What, with fruit or...? <laughs> and Jared said, Cassandra, when you say jump, I don't say how high. But the stupid <laughs> thing is, he fucking should have done. And when Kelsey says jump or go do this, go do that, he does say how high. So what ifs? Then Jared said to Cassandra, I'm morals, you're not. Right, now, <laughs> can, he, can he be morals? <laughs> Now, I know, I mean, a short history of the morals on Big Brother is that one time on... <laughs> what is this, on, Bi- on Big Brother, yeah, on Big, Big Brother Britain, <laughs> these two housemates that Who hated was each it? other, Who it was, was Dexter it? and Callum, and Callum had to write a list of traits about Dexter, and he put, one of them was low morals, but he spelt it wrong. He put low morales, but any, anyway, so... I'm quite impressed that you remember that, because I was thinking morales Do you remember it was itself. that poster? Of and course! They, they were drawing devil horns on each other. And, classic, classic BB. Yeah, so, but can you, can you be morals? <laughs> no, I don't think you can be morals. I think he means I've, I've got some morals. And then he said that we were raised differently. But hold Throwing on. Throwing shade on the dad. Hold on, bitch. I've seen Cassandra's dad. He seemed like quite a nice guy. Like, I, I liked him, if anything. So, and what was Jared's sister? Some, like, fat old shrew, whatever. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see that. <laughs> what about Nikki's friend, Freddie, who come over? Freddie got fingered. And she was like, oh, he's put on, <laughs> he's put on weight. That's rude. That's, like, the second rudest thing since B in BBUK got a letter from her friends and family and she cried because it was from her friend and not from her mum and said I wanted it from my mum what an ungrateful bitch yeah. and she got Freddie evicted what a bitch that's twice we've said Freddie in the past 30 seconds Okay. so then Cass said I came here to win for my family and Jared said but you won't be HOH next week and Cassandra said and you won't be here next week zing when Cassandra said that Finally, I was like, yes. I was like, that was that was a good comeback. I, right. I appreciate that. Now, over to Jury House. Right, so... Uh, what is... Mi- it? Oh, Mi- right, so Maddie, is it, is it Maddie? No, first, before she comes, Mitch oh, and Raul. Having a nice, relaxing, unrehearsed game of uh, badminton. <laughs> you said it's like a gay porno. <laughs> yeah. And then you said, don't say that on the podcast. The, but uh, yeah. then Raul said, "We're just gay, and we like the same thing." What is that same thing they like? I think you know. <laughs> it's cock, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> Do you, are they having it off? If I was Mitch's boyfriend, I would be a bit worried. Because uh, no, no cameras in jury. I, I don't think Mitch. We'll go for it. No. I think Raul wants to do all his twirling his hair and everything. Yeah. But you know, you get lonely in the jury house. It's very cold. Mitch has got a woolly hat on. Maddie is wearing like a scarf. Like, how is Nikki going to fare in there? Not well. Not well at all. Once Nikki got evicted, James was like, but it's really cold in the jury. <laughs> <laughs> like you felt really concerned for her. <laughs> Come on, crank up the heat and put the fire on. So then, um, oh yeah, Maddie come with her duck. Yeah, she made the three three day journey <laughs> out to Herschel's farm. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll get her head chopped off. It does look like Herschel's farm, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't look nice. Like the US house is all like a pool and sunshine and cocktails. They just look like they're on some scrub. <laughs> Are they still watching the old VHS videos? And then they're like, oh, we've got to tell you, Ramsey's dad has had a heart attack. It's like, fucking hell, oh. do we need to go over all that rigmarole again? Um,. Mitch was disappointed that the house didn't backdoor Tim because he wants to. Yeah, now why is Mitch <laughs> playing along at home or playing <laughs> playing along in the jury house? I think it's a bit tragic. What quiz show says, oh, if you're playing along at home, look away now? I don't know. Quite, quite a few <laughs> what, of them, I think. you see, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I like that. I like to play along at home. Of course. <laughs> anyway, Mitch, whatever. Um... Yeah, Ramsey, never mind. Um, oh, Nikki's speech was, I'm proud of myself, and it's my birthday, so if I stay, we'll get a party. That would be enough for me to keep her. I think so. I liked her outfit, so she looked nice. Jared's speech was, the king is leaving this house. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of evictees spoiling who is going to leave by saying in their speech, I know I'm leaving. I know it's not as bad as in BBUS when 
they one's got sports clothes on and one's got like a prom dress on. Yeah. They actually they don't do that in Canada, which is good. But still, in your speech last week, Maddie basically gave a defeatist speech. You shouldn't be allowed to give a defeatist speech. You should have to fight to the end. Agree or disagree? No, it's true because it, yeah, it spoilerizes it spo- the show. It spoils it, doesn't it? Jared, you spoil it. So then, um, oh yeah, Tim said he was voting to evict the cowardly king. Hey, at least you don't have to listen to Ramsey saying, what do you do, baby boo, or whatever it is anymore. Oh, hey, baby boo. <laughs> you texted me that this Hey, week. gorgeous. When you texted me, baby boo, this week, I was just like, uh, I was a bit angry. <laughs> uh, anyway, the Mitchell brothers voted to evict Nikki. Yeah, whatever, slapheads. Fucking billiard balls. Um, and then, now, woo, Kelsey voted to evict Jared. Why? I'm asking you. Uh, we don't know. The only theory that is your theory mm. is that they already pre-cooked this plan, her yeah, and Jared, yeah. to try and heap blame on that for, on the brothers. On the brothers. That's the only thing I could think. Because why would she vote to evict Jared? Imagine how humpy he's going to get about it if he don't already know. I must think he must... I he think... knew because he did that defeatist speech, right? Yeah. So he probably said to her, look, just vote for me. Yeah, maybe. But when she said that, I was like, ooh. I was like, yeah, go Kelsey. I was like, because it's cool when someone goes against the... Hmm. Loved one, isn't it? It's good. To, it's good drum. It's good drums. Um, oh. <laughs> when Jared left the house. Ah, oh. <laughs> now this is the where you really notice the difference in the in the international formats because had that have happened in the UK, had what happened? <laughs> you fell down the stairs. What would the crowd have, have said? You fell over. <laughs> in unison. <laughs> Is that not a thing in Canada? Someone falls over, you go, you fell over. It's like if you're in a bar and someone smashes a glass, you go, hey. Is that an international thing? Is it, that can't just I don't be know. a British thing. What else? We're, What's the we're other pretty one? stupid in this country. What's so. the one that's like, you fell over? Oh, do you want? Do you collect stamps oh. and then you stamp on their foot? No, I know. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? That's a good one. Anyway, when <laughs> Jared fell over, that, that was good. <laughs> What well, Ar- Arissa's first question to him should have been, "Did you enjoy your trip?" But she isn't no. she, unless it's on a key card. She can't think of it. Uh, <laughs> look, if you're Canadian and you listen to this, next time you see someone fall over, go, "You fell over." It's the best thing ever. Anyway, <laughs> self-appointed King Jared said, "Oh, uh, somebody is working with the foreign people." Um, how dare he refer to Australian and English people as foreign fucking racist <laughs> it's funny isn't it what's foreign depending on where you come from <laughs> but did you know did you notice how bad the sound was during that oh, interview yeah, it, was, yeah. it kept fucking up it was echoing and whistling I think that was and, it's and you know with the way that he speaks anyways mm. he's unintelligible at the best of times do you know what? My only disappointment during this BB Can series is we never got the Jared impression down pat we just can't do it. You wouldn't be able to hear it. It's hard. But you know what? No. No, hold on. I'll come back to that. Oh. <laughs> Are you sad to see Jared go? I'm in happy. a way. In a way, yes. I'm happy. I'm happy. So then, um, I was wondering how Tim's tan is still so orange considering he's in a garden with no sunlight. You know. You know, they don't even have a swimming pool in the Big River Canada house. They just have a hot tub. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a swimming pool even in the BBUK house. We didn't that year that... Well, we did. <laughs> but when well, the, when Michael Barrymore was on... Poor me, poor me. They had to... <laughs> what, they, they sectioned off the pool? No, people went in the pool, but he was like, I can't go in because I can't swim, even though he had a swimming pool in his own house. That someone died in. Mysteriously. Mm. Anyway, the less we say about that, the better, I guess. Um, so, <laughs> Arissa said... We need to find a new HOH stat. Do you like it when people say stat out of things? Uh, what, what does that mean? <laughs> like, at once. Don't you say that, you know, at work and stuff? No, I've never <laughs> yeah. heard that. What? What? Yeah, we've got to do this stat. People say that. I've In my whole life, I've never heard that. Well, you learn something new every day. Mm. Now, it was this bowling... Uh, uh, once again Skittles ruining Big Brother the, ca- <laughs> the camera angles were shit like you couldn't even see Tim at all why have that competition 
like that if you're not going to show like at least a bit of each person the only person you could fucking see was nick and he was